everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm on site doing kind of a hodgepodge of a number of different things. If you look behind you, you can see that the cabinets are all up on that north wall there. Everything went up pretty easily. Uh, again, the only issue that I have with the cabinets is the issue with the sizing I had on the sink uh, base. And, uh, you know, I think I've pretty much decided I'm just going to build that on my own. So, everything over there is pretty much set for now. I'm not going to be touching that for a while. Uh, what I've been doing today is uh, more stonework here. And you can see this is going up. It's almost to the top. Uh, there's just one little section here left to do. And then, you know, there's a few little places that I'm sticking stones in. Overall, I'm, I'm kind of pretty pleased with the way it's coming out. It almost looks kind of like there's fissures in the rocks. And within the, those fissures, there's little colored stones and things. You know, I, I, I like the, the way that it's coming out. Uh, after I did that, I jumped into the back room because the next big thing I want to get going here is electricity. Uh, my dad's going to be coming by at some point helping me with that. And the back room was uh, pretty untidy. Uh, you know, I have the shelf in there and I was putting things on the shelf, but stuff that didn't fit on the shelf was just getting put on the floor. And in, I always find it really aggravating and slow to work in an environment that's messy. You know, if you're constantly having to move messes from one area in the floor to another area in the floor so you can work or move a ladder or whatever, it just slows everything down. Sometimes it just pays to bite the bullet, you know, and, and put in like a half an hour or an hour or whatever it takes to tidy things up, get them up out of the way, and then when you can start working, you can just rip through stuff. So I did that afterwards. Uh, then the next step was I finished taping off this uh, ceiling joist here, and uh, I did a little bit of sanding. If you guys remember back here on this ceiling joist, there were these like twirly little lines up there. Uh, I ended up getting rid of them, and the way that I got rid of them was that I uh, sanded it down. I, I just took the sander and just went right over the stain after the stain had dried for you know a couple weeks. Uh, and I'm not sure how those little uh, squiggly lines got there, but I, I, I'm kind of thinking that it wasn't something that Josh had added to it while he was doing the sanding. They were whatever that was. It was penetrated pretty deep into the wood. I I really don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure what it was, but it, it was able to be gotten rid of by sanding. And I saw some some hints that this beam here might have had some of those little twirly lines. So I pre-sanded this and this guy's all, all ready to go. After I sanded it down, I made sure that I uh, took a broom and you know got the sawdust off of it. Because when I'm staining, I don't want to be locking sawdust into it. Uh, and uh, the last step of the day is just to, to put this uh, stain into the, the joist. And I've got about an hour here before I need to go. And it's kind of nice because it takes just about maybe like 45 minutes or so to stain one of these guys. So that'll give me, you know, uh, something accomplished for the last hour that we're here, plus 15 minutes to clean up. And, uh, and then I've just got one more of these on this level. And uh, the past couple weeks I've just been thinking about how there's been so much accomplished. There's just so much here. I've been what is this day, like 490 something. A lot of work's done, but you know, the past couple weeks I've just been thinking about how much there is left to do, and there is a lot left to do. But we are getting to the last couple things, and uh, I think at some point once we get over a hump of all these kind of like electrical stuff, finishing up the plumbing, uh, it's gonna feel like kind of a downhill run at the end there. But I don't wanna take it for granted. I wanna keep pushing, and uh, yeah, we really wanna be into this before the second wave of the pandemic might hit us in the, the fall and winter. Uh, this really is turning into the little house of quarantine and I want it to be ready for when we need it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.